I just wanted to uh, offer my thoughts and prayers to the uh, uh, to Houston and the uh, you know that that deals with really I've got family and friends down there. We've got players that have uh, family and friends down there, and uh, uh, man, just my heart goes out to them and just uh, just uh, thoughts and prayers. Just thinking about them. Just wanted to uh, you know put things in perspective. What's important and. Um, um, hopefully they're getting the help they need and uh, just wanted to, um, uh, you know, make that statement. Questions? And, uh, well, I mean, I, I obviously was born and raised playing Texas high school football. My, my mentors in my life were Texas high school coaches and uh, – so obviously, growing up there, R.C. Slocum was someone that I looked up to tremendously. Uh, had uh, with the Cardinals with Gene Stallings, so you know I just kind of had a connection there with A&M because uh, Coach had been there back when I guess he was the youngest coach when he was 29 there at A&M. But uh, so I started uh, following A&M, and obviously I met Coach Bennett, and uh, he had a tremendous effect on myself and Coach Patterson. We we're both young coaches, and we we're trying to learn, and uh, he was a very gracious and uh, really taught me a lot of the things that of, of our initial philosophy because that was back in the time of the wrecking crew Quentin Corriott and all those guys I don't know if, if you guys remember all that but uh, uh, they were they were they, they was a very fun defense to watch and then I, I learned I learned the really the f core foundations of secondary play you know from him and uh, we've uh, we've had a relationship uh, uh, learning you know, uh, from him and learning from each other for quite some time. I guess that was 1995, something like that. Man, just taking a lot of weight off me. Um, it just just his leadership. Uh, you don't have to worry about what he's doing. Uh, you know how his – I can guarantee you, I, I know how his guys are going to play. They're going to play extremely hard. Uh, he's a very uh, – uh, he's a masterful teacher and uh, – you know, it, it gives me it, it gives me a lot of comfort uh, having someone with his type of experience, and not just the experience. It's I don't I don't you don't find too many guys uh, that have been doing it 40 years that coach with the passion that he coaches with, and that's what we're all about. You know, that's that's you know being a Sun Devil is about being Sun Devil tough. And you you know Frank Cush, Pat Tillman. You think about uh, uh, you know our our past and our history. It, it's about being tough. And it's dang sure about being passionate. And so that's really when we – we're not – we came in five and a half years ago instilling our philosophy. That's what it is. And he's been a great fit for that. But the, the biggest way he's impacted me, he's just taken an awful lot off of me. Uh, you know, I think uh, I think we're better. I think uh, all those guys are all a year older and uh, getting the right combination in there. I think we'll play JoJo in both spots, you know. Um, but uh, I do think that his true position is inside. I, I do think that that's made us better. And uh, obviously we got a lot of confidence in A.J. And uh, you, know, you got a lot of guys with a lot of playing experience up front. And then I think we've got some depth. I, you know, Rennell Wren's really had a great couple of weeks. He's really coming on and uh, going to be a solid, you know, guy there. And you look at George and Rennell, and you look at the guys we've got inside there. Uh, you know, you know, Corey Smith's been hurt, but but we we've got you know Hoyt, all the different guys that we have in there in the interior. We've got some, you know, we're pretty pretty deep inside at that tackle position, and uh, it's something I feel really good about. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be really nice. I'll be honest with you. It was really difficult uh, before. You know, I, I I would look at the the screen some, but it was just so it was so different than when you would be at other places. You know, where you can really uh, uh, see the replay. I think the fan interaction, the technology, how the fans are going to be connected in the stadium, the all the Wi-Fi, all the things that they've added is going to really change the game day experience to really integrate and have the crowd involved in the game you need a board with with that type of technology helps you to be able to do those things and and make it a lot more fun more exciting and it's just going to make it a better venue to watch the game i think i know that uh, 
when I've been out there in scrimmages, we've turned it on, you know, to get used to it. And um, uh, it's going to be uh, – I, I know I, 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 I got my eyes on it most of the time. Uh, you know, our whole deal has been throughout camp has been us focusing on what we're doing, uh, focus, focusing on uh, doing the things that win football, getting 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 the, getting accomplished the things that wins football games, uh, and that's uh, you know being uh, you know uh, the best you know in, in our conference in the country and taking care of the football and getting the football on defense. That's that's uh, that's been our number one thing, and obviously I think. This has been a you know a TTH uh, camp. I mean, it's uh, uh, we've been physical, and so if you just focus on the fundamentals of the game, and uh, you get better fundamentally, and then you you have an emphasis on what wins games and what our philosophy is. I think I think we've really reigned in that. And how do you do all those things? Accomplish those things is discipline, and so uh, that's what our focus has been. It's not been on someone else. It's been on been on us. Uh, because you know, obviously it's a first game of the year. People can change things. They, they're, they're, are we going to see some new stuff or face some new stuff? Well, I'm sure we are. I'm sure they will too. Uh, but uh, uh, the team that's going to win is the one that's the most disciplined and the one that uh, takes care of the football. I feel – I don't think in terms of that. I think in terms of, of, of our football team. I, I feel better about everything about our football team. I feel better about the coaching. I feel better about uh, our preparation. I feel better about our fundamentals. I feel like we're blocking and tackling better, uh, and I just like I just like what that produces. It's been a very very uh, uh, long. It's been the long, I think it's the longest I've ever practiced. You know, I, I think it really has been actually is the longer longest I've ever practiced because we started July 24th, and. Uh, it seems like it's been a long time, but it's been it's been really good. So I I, I feel very uh, good. I got a great belief in our team, and I th I just know we're better. I know we're better in so many areas uh, that uh, uh, you know that doesn't you know always equate to points or any of that stuff. But uh, bottom line is you know we we got to figure out how to be one and zero and then go from there. But I do I do think that we're you look at our coaching and our players and our execution. You look at our discipline. Uh, you just look at our work ethic. Um, uh, you know, it's it's a vet. There's, even though there's some newcomers uh, in spots, uh, mostly newcomer coaches, but uh, um, we we're a veteran team, and and I like. I think it's been good that we've had this extra time. I think this extra time has helped us as a coaching staff to really, really, you know, you can get on the same page generally. But to really get on the same page and what we're what we're because it's so important that you're tied in together and what the what the what you're trying to accomplish. You know, we just don't randomly do things on offense or defense. It's, it needs to be tied together, and what you do on offense has to match what you're doing on defense. Well, it depends on who they are now. I mean, Chris Young didn't take him very long. Cron Crump, pretty good too. I think oh I think I think the second year is big for them because uh, you got to understand that you just don't have that long to develop them. But I'll tell you one thing that I we have we've had more success um, transitioning the junior college player from playing in junior college to playing at a high level and starting in the Pac-12 conference. And then you look at the guys now Marcus Hardison. You look at uh, you know Marion Grice got an opportunity as well. Jalen Strong. You look at the guys that we have. You know, the developed that have now gone on the league and and doing well. I think that's been something that uh, that I, I feel very. I'm very proud of how we do that, and I think it's because our teacher mentality. But um, there's it, it, some guys. Um, you know, the reps are important. You know, to play fast, you can't be thinking. So when you're learning and trying to figure it out, you don't just you don't play as fast. And the difference, the complexity of the game as you move up in levels uh, is what is what's challenging. So different guys in different positions, it takes longer. I mean, Damaris Randall was pretty quick. You know, he, he played at a pretty high level pretty quick. Chris Young was a guy that played at a really high level. Really, Marcus Hardison, first year was solid. Second year, big jump. So I think that's with anybody, whether it be a freshman to their sophomore year, I think there's a big maturation deal. I think it's different with the junior college player because they're older. But it's still about 
you know, the, the, the volume of what you have to execute. And it depends on what position you're playing. So I hope we, uh, we don't have I, – I think you'll see a big – I think I know those guys are better. How can you not be better? Uh, but, um, uh, you know, we uh, guys like Jamarcus Rhodes, I think, I think Jamarcus is poised to really have a, a great year. And some of that's us figuring out, kind of figuring out what, where, he, where he fits, where, where the best spot for him is. Yeah, I'm I'm ex I'm I'm excited about uh, uh, how those guys have worked. I mean, you know, usually you don't talk a lot about. I, I think fundamentally, those two guys have improved as much as anybody in our program, and they're pretty good players. So, so I really like how our guys are working. I like that we are. I like how we're coaching them too. We're 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 being the most demanding on the best players on the field, and. Uh, so we talk about on offense being a band of brothers. Uh, you know, we talk about uh, being desert dogs on defense. Uh, but I really like I like I like how our guys expect to be expect the uh, standards from which they're coached to be high every day. And you know, I'm I'm excited to watch those guys. That that group's a, a very talented group. But uh, that's one thing you can get excited about. That I get more excited about. Uh, you know how they've developed as far as their character, their toughness. Um, they're better. They're a lot better fundamentally, both those guys, and they're, so I'm excited to watch them get after it and watch uh, watch both of them guys play a whole bunch of plays. Rose, what's going to be a message to the, the young guys in the secondary that haven't, haven't played a lot going into an opener against the Knights? Do your job. That's about it. Well, I'm a, a, it's something that um, – uh, is very uh, important. Uh, it's obviously, who he was uh, as a person. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, giving his life for his country. Uh, but who he was as a Sun Devil. Uh, that's pretty special. Uh, yeah, I've gotten to know is is you know Kevin very well, and um, obviously uh, got a tremendous respect uh, for the football player that he was. I mean, he was a warrior. You know, I was joking last year. You know, we can't. Like, we show his highlights, the last thing that we look at before we go out the door. Well, about half of those are actually illegal. You can't hit that like that anymore. So it was interesting. I, was, I remember watching him going, I don't know how smart this is for me to be showing this because I don't worry. I said, guys, I want you to play with that passion, but don't hit people like that. Don't, don't, uh, don't uh, you know, that was different. You know, back, back in the day, you know, it, there wasn't no targeting. Uh, but, um, no, it's going to mean, it means a lot because of, you know, the person that he was, uh, you know, we talk about brotherhood, uh, how important his family was to him, uh, what type of son he was, what type of brother he was, what type of teammate he was. That's one of the things we changed about the Tillman Tunnel. We put his teammates in there because I think that would have been, that was very important to him. And uh, I'm excited because I think, you know, you look at what he did in the classroom, on the field, off the field, in the classroom, in the community, and for our country. I mean, he's the only person that's on every wall. And, but he also, it's too, he, he's such a great representative of his life and who he was and what he was about, about what it is to be a sun devil to us. And so to take the field through Tillman Tunnel uh, and then to have his statue there now that we start the tradition this year of every player touching that statue before they take the field. And I can tell you what my message is going to be is uh, don't talk about it. Yeah, you're going to go out there and touch that statue, and you get out on that field and you bring it like he did. And we do that, and great things are going to happen. So it's, a, it's important. I think it's, a, uh, it's important to all Sun Devils. I mean, who Pat was to Sun Devil Nation and who he was to our country and all that, I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing. But uh, um, that's going to be a special deal. And I think we're, we're, uh, we're, we're doing the deal Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday we're going to uh, have – uh, kind of do the unveiling for the family and all that and uh, for our players. And so it's, an, it's a special deal. Uh, and, and moving from that end down here, you know, I thought it was real important that we, we had an opportunity to really uh, do something special with that. And I think it's, one of the, it's going to be one of the most special uh, things about our place and one of the, as far as an entrance and how we do things and, and also in a way to honor and remember uh, someone that, uh, that gave so much. Um, is a uh, it's a, means a lot to me personally. I know that. 
Sure do. Sure do. Not yet. One of the things that we did, uh, I'll be real honest with you, um, you know, is just trying to get back to dialed in. Uh, and like, uh, um, you know, I just kind of felt like we just kind of we just kind of slipped a little bit on some of those things that we did that were important. Uh, and you don't lower the standard for anything; you raise the standard. And so we raised that standard back up to where it was when we first started doing it. And and I like that. And uh, I hope somebody will learn it. But uh, pretty high standard now to where that one. I mean, three eight four GPA. So you got to be at least in that range. Uh, and you look at how he practiced and how he played. I'll tell you, some of the most impressive things to watch about him was how he practiced. If you ever get a chance to watch some of his training tape, film, or practices, you know, that he had here, uh, he was a warrior on the game day. But I'll tell you, he was, it was, it was impressive to watch him. Uh, I've watched a lot of the, you know, the old Cardinal training camp videos. And uh, he was, he was uh, that's the way we want our guys to play. You know, with that kind of passion. Uh, on the same hand, man, um, it's that uh, earning that jersey, man. You also have to elevate the other ten guys on that field. And I, I think of all the people that I've heard people talk about here, he's a guy that really did that. Um, probably wouldn't like all this attention, you know. Uh, but uh, um, you know, 3.84 in the classroom. You look at what kind of teammate he was and the respect that he gave, not just not just some people, but all people. Uh, and, and, uh, and then obviously, you know, what a giver he was. And you know, whether it be, you know, doing things, signing things for, for people, helping, helping uh, people out, whether it be uh, he was just a giver and gave it all. So that, that's a pretty high standard to wear that jersey. And I kind of felt like, you know, you know, we kind of need to earn that jersey, and it's pretty hard to do it.